Hi guys, so I'm making a little vanilla sponge cake. <clears throat> In here, I have 400 grams of unsalted butter, um, 400 grams of caster sugar, and about two tablespoons of vanilla extract. It's really important to have the butter and the eggs and everything you're gonna to use to make a cake at room temperature just so it combines easily. Um, and so this has been creaming for about I've manually, with my hands, done this for about five to seven minutes and it's gotten like this. And what I'm going to do is just tip what I'm going to do is just tip some of the egg in here. Not all of it. Maybe about half of it. I'm just going to cream that together. It might look like it'll curdle a bit, but that's fine. I'm just going to give this a real mix. And you can see that as I'm mixing, I'm trying to fall as well and add air into it. Okay, and now I'm going to add some of this 400 grams of flour. I've weighed out, add half of it in here and just mix, combine it. Buttered my tins and I have lightly dusted them with flour. I like to do this because then it just slides out all that parchment business. I've had bad experiences where you just end up eating the parchment. It's not cool, it's not nice, I don't like it. And sometimes when you don't have parchment, you, you're not gonna make a cake? Do you know what I mean? So just use some butter, lightly dust it, and we're just gonna scoop them into our tins. Oh, I love that sound. Oh Jesus, can you hear that? Oh. So I'm just about to put this in the oven and what I want to do, what I'm doing now is I'm just smoothing the top out with a spoon. Um, I'm just smoothing it out so that it doesn't dome <laughs> when it bakes. And so it gives me the nice flat top that I want. Um, and this will go into the oven for about on 200, into a heated oven on like 190 uh, for about 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, and it really should bake very quickly. And then I will show you how I did the frosting. Alright guys, so I'm making the frosting and it's um, like a Swiss buttercream frosting. What I'm gonna, what I need are egg whites and so far I've got four. This is the fourth one and I just need the egg whites and I don't need the yolk and this is a really, really tricky operation because you just need the whites and you don't need any trace of the yolk in it. So you've just got to be careful. Um, we do have an egg thing where you can just crack the egg into it and all the yolk sort of slips out. That's just wahala. I'm gonna whip away until this forms stiff foamy piece. Um, and while it's whipping, I'm going to add some sugar into it, and that'll make it glossy and <laughs> Okay, guys. So now I've added the sugar into it, it's peaked into like a, a stiff frosting is to add some butter to this slowly. And you've got to use butter, you can't use margarine, this is some unsalted butter. Just add it to it slowly. Just add, I'm gonna add all of this butter to it and then if at all you feel like, oh, the mixture is going a little bit 
you know, soft on you, all you need to do is stick it in the fridge, it'll come back together, and you carry on. Away. And so I whisked, and whisked, and whisked, and it came together. So it came together, and so I'm so happy, and this is just going to go inside our cake, and on top of our cake. It's really nice, isn't it? It's very buttery, you can see the sort of like, butteriness. It's really buttery, I like it. It's because there's no babies in it. And then, I don't know, should I do two layers? Should I do three? Should I do four? Three. So I always do this. Sometimes it's not even all the way through, but I think everyone gets the picture. I just put my hand through it and I cut slowly. You don't want to know how you cook. It's like, if you are doing a maths vlog, you'll be like, sometimes when I do two plus two, I don't get four. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you cook. <laughs> it's so true. Um, no, but that's cooking. No, cooking is not. Cooking is not math. You're not supposed to cry if something doesn't work. You're supposed to fix it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not supposed to, you know, lose sleep over the fact that something hasn't worked. And so I'm just gonna put my hand over there. This, it's really, really helpful, but if you don't have one, just use a normal plate and it'll just mean that you'll have to, you know, stretch over it a little bit more and that kind of thing. And what I'm doing is, so I put the dollop on it, I smooth it sideways, I make sure it sort of like spills over, and then I hold the, what is this called? The spatula and round, and to get the frosting on all sides evenly, I just hold it still and I just turn the table around. So that way I get a nice smooth finish. My simple sponge cake with the chocolate frosting. Um, and obviously you can have the chocolate frosting without the chocolate, so it's just a butter, a butter frosting. And you can have the cake with some cocoa powder in it, so it's a chocolate cake. Um, but sometimes you want a little bit of a contrast, you want an Oreo situation going on. Um, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I think someone's a little oh, bit tipsy. Yeah, so I'm going to put this in the fridge now to set overnight and um, it'll set and it'll be fine. <laughs>